Summer is in full swing and Nintendo are celebrating by putting nearly 150 great games up for sale. I've trawled through the list and put together what I think are the best games that you can get for under £10. These are all games that I've personally played and recommend, or if not, ones that I will be looking to buy before the 25th of July. Also, check out my best games in the sale under £5, which I'll link to just above. So with that further ado, please like, subscribe and settle back to the 20 best games under £10 in Nintendo's summer sale. So in no particular order, first up is the Dragon's Lair Trilogy, which is down 50% to £8.99. You're getting three classic games for under £9, each renowned for their stunning Disney cartoon looks and devilish difficulty. The Switch version adds in some additional content and the option to turn on control prompts which the arcade version didn't have. I'm absolutely picking this one up before the sale ends. Next up is Baba Is You, which is down 30% to £7.90. Whilst I wrote this off initially when I first saw it, stellar reviews have properly explained the gameplay and that's won me back round. As a programmer myself, playing this will be a bit like a busman's holiday, but I'm hoping my background in logic will help me enjoy it even more. Tangle Deep is the first game so far that I own on the list and what a cracker it is. Down to just £9.47, which is 40% off, this turn-based fantasy RPG dungeon crawling roguelike sees you explore the world of Tangle Deep in a 16-bit graphical style. Fight off a wide variety of monsters and collect a kingdom's worth of loot in this simply brilliant game. Manticore Galaxy on Fire is a great space combat and exploration game ported superbly from the mobile series. Take on a series of missions with voice acted cutscenes and some absolutely stunning graphics, all at 60 frames per second. There's 50% off on this one, taking it down to just £8.99. Okay, next up is a game in my backlog of shame. I really, really want to play this one, but I just haven't had a chance to get into it yet, and that's Valkyria Chronicles. This strange mashup of turn-based JRPG-style gameplay in an almost World War II setting somehow just works, and the beautiful watercolour-style graphics and fun combat systems really could make this the pick of the list. Just £7.99 for this one, which is a brilliant 50% saving. A new twist on an old classic next and that's Pac-Man Championship Edition 2 Plus which is almost half price at £7.99. 35 years old and still going strong, Pac-Man is a class game and the modern Championship Editions are brilliant updates. This port to the Switch sees an all new local co-op mode which can even be played with the AI instead of a buddy on the couch. Bonkers gameplay and just quite brilliant for quick bite sized chunks of arcade action. Tesla vs Lovecraft is just £6.49 which is 50% off and is a great little twin stick shooter where you play as Nikola Tesla fighting back against HP Lovecraft who is raising hell and bringing all the Cthulhu's into the world. Using Tesla's mad inventions give you a leg up against the demonic horde but this is no easy game. I enjoyed it for what it was and would definitely recommend it at this price. What can you say about Super Meat Boy? Arguably the game that cemented indie gaming on consoles when it launched way back on the Xbox 360 and it's still going strong today. Super tough platforming gameplay but somehow it wins you over with its simple bloody charm. Down 35% this one to just £7.79. Super 
Resident Evil Revelations is another classic port and yet it's lacking in some of the modern quality of life features in more recent Resident Evil games, but I really like this one a lot. Great for pick up and play sessions and whilst the arguably better sequel is available for a few pounds more, I still think for under a tenner you can't go much wrong here. I've only recently picked up Battle Princess Madeline, but I've enjoyed what I've played so far. This is a homage to Ghosts and Goblins, but fleshed out with a story mode. The developer took some early criticism on board and came back with a beefy update, which changed a lot of the original game for the better, so if you passed first time round due to any middling reviews, then give this one another look. Just £6.74, which is half price. Something for the whole family now, and that's Just Dance 2018, which is down a whopping 84% to just £7.99. These games are great for playing with kids or just getting a bit of exercise when you've had enough of putting hours on the sofa into an RPG. There is a paid subscription service in this one, but it is optional and there are still around about 40 songs included with the main game. Next up is possibly one of the best games on the Switch full stop, and that is Steam World Dig 2. Everything about this game is top draw, from the beautiful graphics and funny writing to the addictive digging gameplay as you mine through the world looking for materials and finding the next objective. I'm ashamed to say that I got all the way to the final boss and rage quit, but don't take that as a negative, you simply have to own this game, and at £7.49 it's a steal really at 50% off. You can tell Yoko's Island Express is a really good game. It looks stunning and the gameplay is fun and unique as you pinball your way around this Metroidvania style game. I will say though, for me personally, I didn't click with it, but I'm putting it on the list as I feel like it's still a game worth recommending to others. £7.99 for this one, which is also 50% off. Worms is a classic game first released on the Amiga in 1995 and has hit pretty much every gaming device since then and lands with a squelch on the Switch in the form of Worms WMD. 50% off at £9.99 is the upper end of my limit but it's also a game I've always wanted on the Switch due to its turn-based gameplay, incredible levels of customization, and online play. I'm finally biting at this price. A stunning looking RPG style game now, and that's Child of Light. This one is down to just £6.40, which is a really impressive 60% off. The port is the Ultimate Edition, featuring all the previously released DLC, and this platform game looks like it delivers with traditional platforming gameplay and time-based strategic battle systems. Another one that I've had my eye on for some time, and I'm definitely diving in at this price. Death Road to Canada is a superb indie roguelite which sees you taking a road trip across zombie infested lands. Gameplay is split into two parts with a choose your own story style road trip interspersed with pixel art combat sections where you scavenge for materials and rescue survivors. Brilliant writing, loads of secrets and unlocks and once you get over the strange art and movement animations it's a deep and engaging game. One of my all-time favourite games and an absolute steal at £7.19, which is down 40%. Wizard of Legend is another indie game that, a bit like Yoko's Express, I haven't quite clicked with personally, but similarly it's a game that I have to recommend as it feels like it has all the elements of a great roguelike game. 
Collect and combine a wide variety of spells as you fight your way through randomly generated dungeons to complete the Chaos Trials. £9 and 9p for this one, which represents 35% off. A completely different take on the roguelike genre now as we take to the skies in a stunning looking Sky Rogue. Each of the 12 missions you have to undertake are randomly generated with new enemies, airports and even the terrain being unique each run and whilst dying does see you lose all your progress you do get to unlock more tech for your next run. With a local co-op mode, unlockable endless mode, there's plenty here if you're a flying game fan. Sky Rogue is down 50% to just £7.49. The penultimate game on the list is the boss battler Fury, which is down 50% to just £8.99. This is another game I've had my eye on for some time, but felt at nearly £20 it was a bit too much for what potentially is on offer. Gameplay looks crazy slick though, and the soundtrack by all accounts is also stellar. I think it's about time that I pulled the trigger on this one. The final game on the list is probably the pick of the 20 for me in terms of discount versus gameplay, and that is Rayman Definitive Edition which sees a whopping 75% off reduction, bringing it down to the ridiculous price of £7.49. This colourful, cartoony platformer looks stunning on the Switch, has a wealth of additional previously released content and multiplayer modes. It's one of the best games released on the Switch so far, and if you only pick up one of the 20 games here, it would be hard to argue against this one. So there you go, 20 games to suit any middle of the month budget. Please let me know if you're going to be getting any of these games and if you're new here please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. Remember to check out my 10 games under £5 video next to see if there is an even cheaper bargain for you. Thanks once again for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers everyone, bye bye.